What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm releasing World Edit uh, for B Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So first we're going to create a world and I'm just walk making sure you walk through this so you guys know what you need to add and what you need to add to the world. So I'm going to set the world name. Uh, we're going to have coordinates on. Make sure to put all this stuff on. You probably don't need all of it but uh, I just recommend you always putting all this stuff on. Then once you download the pack, you're going to add it right here. Uh, the pack will be in the description where you can download. And we're going to go right here and just press create new world. Okay, so once we're in the world, uh, we can see nothing's really changed, right? So all we need to do is, if we want to check out the commands, just do dash help. Okay, so now dash help pops up the help pages for all the commands in the in the game. So you can see... All the commands that are currently available. So we can see help, version, test, ping, all these brush, world edit, and if we do help two, we can see more commands, help three, and help four. So we can see all the commands that are currently available in the world edit add on. Perfect. So let's just get started with the brush. So first we're going to do dash wand. And wand is going to give us a world edit wand. So if you know anything about the, the job edition of world edit, you know that World Edit Wand is probably one of the most important parts of it. So all you need to do is break a block right here. And you're going to right click a block somewhere else. And then we do dash set stone. And boom. It automatically fills uh, your your region. It outputs, if we go in the chat, we can see outputs 11,913 blocks in about 59 milliseconds. So it tells you how fast and how many blocks it filled. So we can also easily just undo that selection right there by simply typing dash undo. And we can also redo if we want to put that back. Perfect. So I'm going to leave that undo undone for right now. And if we can see the selection tool is very, very cool. So literally all you need to do is just right click anywhere in the world and you can go as far as you want. So usually the slash fill command doesn't allow you to um, fill over 32,768 blocks. But with this, we can see if we just go click right there, dash set stone. It's going to wait a little bit to load there we go. So it says start a fill, complete about five seconds. And look how fast this is. So you can see uh, it is pausing between each fill because that makes it so it smoothly runs in the game. And it also lets normal processes through. But look at this. We have just filled a million blocks in about uh, eight seconds. So 8,562 milliseconds, which is about eight seconds. So, um, it tells you uh, an about time, about five seconds. It's not fully exact because Minecraft runs slower than usually it would. So we can see though it did complete in eight eight seconds, and it was really really fast. So we can also simply read undo that command too, and let's check it out. So undoes and you just gotta wait for the particles load and boom. So undoing and redoing is so good and it's made so well in this world that I add on. There we go. Redid last memory. Boom. Very, very cool. So I'm going to leave that undone. And let's look at some more of the selection commands. So if we want to go back in the help, so we'll do dash help and we can see. Uh, let's do help two. Uh, OK, so we can see eight. So we can see these pause commands, right? So let's check out the pause commands. If we do dash pause one we can see how we didn't input any coordinates to, uh, to enter so we're going to do 0 90 0 to 90 0 0 90 90 okay we'll do that so we'll do pause one oh well it's only gonna be the first arguments okay so pause one like that and then we'll do pause two as 90 0 90 okay so if we do set stone if we go to those coordinates, pp at s090, we can see it's being it's got filled in. And you can do the same thing with h pause. So if we want to do uh, dash o oh, dash h pause one, we can set it all the way over there. And let's just do h pause two at the top of that mountain. 
Okay, uh, we we'll might have to go a little bit lower. There we go. So H plus two is still right there. If we do set wood, there we go. So you can see it automatically fills and builds that instantly in about uh, half a second. Perfect. So this is very, very cool. And there's so much more abilities with this add-on. So let's just check out some more. Uh, if we go back in the help, we can see some other commands that they give us access to. So there's chunk, wand, and expand. So we already checked out the wand. Let's check out the chunk. So if we do slash dash chunk, you can see it says select position one at negative 80, 63, 48. That is the bottom of our chunk to the top of our chunk at 320. So we can do simply set, um, let's just do brick and um, move out of the way. Oh, well, that's not an actual thing. So we do set stone. Uh, this works for any block that's actually in Minecraft. So you can see dash uh, set block. Uh, any block that's here. So if we go back, we can just do like allow. And you can see it fills it with allows. It's very, very cool. And that allows you to select the chunk super easily. So let's check out the expand. So if we go from right there to right here, we can see if we do dash set stone, it's it's selected that area. But let's say we want to expand it like 10 blocks. Now if we do stone, it's expanded 10 blocks out and it's in all directions. But what if we just want to do expertly? So we're going to do expand vert 10. So that's going to expand our selection vertically 10 blocks. And then we're going to select that to wood. So there we go. We can see it expanded 10 blocks up. And if we want to do like 20 blocks up, you can see it just expands uh, the selection vertically. Very, very cool. So uh, the selection commands are really cool, but where this world that Alan actually gets cool is when we get into brushes. So if we go to dash help one, we can see the brush command. So let's do dash help brush. So you can see brush also is BR. So BR is its augment, well, it's alias for the brush command. So we can see the usage down here. So if we do dash BR, sphere, the blocks we want, so let's do stone. Then we can select the size of our brush. So let's select this. Now we are given a world at a brush. So you can see uh, the lore has the world at a brush details inside of it. So you can see the shape is sphere, blocks stone, size is 10, and range is 300. So we can just right click and it will automatically load our selection or our brush. So if we do dash undo three, it's going to undo all those because we didn't want them. But let's do dash brush size as five. Let's just do like a default uh, world edit size. And you can see, let's just try to create some, um, let's just try to create a mountain or something right here. So you can see how easy it is just to make some selections. And what also the cool thing about it is we can do dash brush mat and we can do like wood and stone like that. And there you can see, now we have wood and stone. Let's say we also want to add some iron underscore blocks. Okay. And we can also add some end underscore portal. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. So we can have some end portals here. And so it's very, very easy. And all you need to do to add another uh, a material is do a comma. And comma will automatically add a second one that will be filled into the area. So. Brushes are very, very cool. So we're going to do, we're going to put the uh, material back at stone and we're just going to build a mountain real quick. So let's actually increase the size. So let's do size of like 10 and we are going to make a big mountain right here. So it's literally exactly like the Java Edition world edit. It is so nice. Uh, the only issue right now with, uh, with, brushes and this is why it's so bad is it, it you can see it is kind of slow um i'm trying to work on making this a lot faster but it is so hard because uh minecraft's like loading thing and how i'm making my selection right now is very slow and uh yeah so you can see we created a mountain i'm pretty trash at building but you guys could probably make some really much better and let me show you the other spheres so all the other shapes 
So if we do dash brush, uh, help brush, we can see that there's a shape. So if we go uh, and find the shapes, which it will be in the description, all the shapes you guys can have. I'm going to go, I'm going to switch over to the screen. And you can see these are all the available shapes in the game. So if you want to add some more shapes, all you would have to do is uh, know some math because it's pretty complicated. But you can do, let's say we want to add like a, uh, uh, what's a, what's a shape? Diectaloid or whatever the name is. And all we have to do is just make a formula for it by using all this, uh, by using this these type of arguments and variables up here. And you can create any shape you want. So we're just going to leave that back at default, and we are going to create a, let's just pick any shape in here. Let's, let's click a tetrahedron. So we're going to do dash brush tetrahedron. We're going to do stone and size 7. So there we go. We have a, oh, we need to do, not tetrahedron, because we need the Y. Okay, so let's do a, we can simply do a cube. We can do, let's do octahedron. So we go back in here, dash tetrahedron. Let's change that to octahedron. So this should be working. There we go. So you can see we have a size seven octahedron. We can make that bigger. Let's make it to like a size 30 octahedron. And there, oh, well we need to use our new brush. There we go. So it's gonna be loading in might take some time. There we go. So this is continental paint, meaning it is slower, but it allows processes to run into the chat. If we if I made this one tick, it will be very it will hurt the game a lot, but it will go faster. But uh, it would allow you to not have any functionality while you're loading in a chunk. So I decided to go with a continental paint paint uh, when loading in what's it shapes and stuff like these so we can see that you can select any anything in here so we can select any all the any of these shapes and simply just add it into the game so let's do this I've never actually used this shape before let's see if it works uh, we're gonna do a replace this with an hourglass upper and and so what even is this <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Okay, so let's just do an hourglass X. And I know this one works. We can simply just create any shape we want. There we go. So we have a an hourglass that that simply and that it created that easily. So if we go back in the help, we can go to help page three, and we can see we also have these other commands. We have a size command, which tells us how many si how, how many blocks in our selection, and a copy and paste command. So let's check that out. Let's give ourselves a wand, and let's say we want to go, let's go over here. Look at this cool thing. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to use our selection tools to copy this chunk, or we'll copy this area, and paste it somewhere else. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy from here to let's just say here and we'll do dash copy and we can simply do dash paste and it will load in our chunk at our location so you can see it copied it from our position to coordinate and copied it right into our game so it looks like there is a uh force down here never actually seen these these actually exist no okay so now that we have those copy and paste commands, they are very, very easy, and we can just undo our paste right there. So if we go back into our help, you can see we have we have H C Y C Y H pyramid P Y, and these are all just generations. So we can do dash H, uh, we can do C Y L, and we'll do stone six. So it's going to generate a us a cylinder um it's kind of spawns it inside of you probably it's a bad idea but yeah it creates you a cylinder at your coordinates and it's very cool 
And so that is basically it for what I have right now with World Edit. And if you guys want to see anything else added to the game, added to the World Edit, I don't know, make sure to leave it in the description. I'm going to be adding a lot, lot more stuff, obviously, because this is still in beta. And World Edit is such a huge, huge plugin. So it's just going to take so much time to code it in. But thank you guys for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe, hit that like, and comment any other ideas you want me to add to the game. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.